Welcome back to Flora and the Novice Explorers. Our adventure continues in Portugal as we head inland to explore the far north. Winding our way into the mountains, we find ourselves in a truly stunning landscape, a stark contrast from our road trip so far. This lush green landscape is steeped in thousands of years of history with beautiful waterfalls and ancient protected forests. This region soon became our favourite place in Portugal. You'll soon see why. So we are in the Pena de Jerez National Park, the only one in Portugal. And we are finding the Roman road called... Give me a minute. Oh, Google whiz. Gera. Gera. We began our hike in search of the ancient Roman road, following the rusted metal gear markers. We were looking for a specific section of the Roman road. Although, whilst researching the route, I'd found it difficult to find the exact start of the path. It wasn't as easy to discover as we had hoped. So we're now back at the spot. Uh, Callum has noticed the way that the piece is cut out, but it also means down there. <laughs> so all I'm asking for now is a public Shh. apology. Just one word. I didn't see the sign from this way, because you can see arrow pointing that way, obvious. But now I stand here, I can see the cutout is also pointing down that way. The only thing that concerned me was the amount of water. All right? All I want is the S word. We're having a good day out, aren't we? Yeah. Having a good laugh. Sun's out, so we're in a far better mood than we were the past <laughs> few days anyway, so woo! So we walked all that way and it's completely pointless, so let's head down this stream and see if we have uh, better results. Soon enough, we found this spectacular view and an epic stack of boulders. And of course, we made the most of it. we found some wall. I think we might be on the right path. From one of the pictures that I found, I can compare it, but I don't think we're gonna find a huge amount today because we've maybe left a bit too late and fanned it about trying to find the right path. I think we finally found our Roman road and the first mile markers. I'm very happy that we found this, so at least we are now on the right path. I'm so glad we found this. It's a pretty amazing, isn't it? Knowing that these stones were laid in Roman times and used as a path a trade path. Actually, it's a military route connecting Braga in Portugal to Astorga in Spain. So this is gonna be our, ooh, that's echoing in my ear. <laughs> so this is just gonna be our little stint of the Roman road. We're heading back up here and probably gonna jump onto the main road back to where you park the van, but it's been really, really nice. You can explore, I think, how, I don't know, how far is it end to end? It's quite yeah, a long I walk. Read. 300 kilometers, I think. Yeah, and it crosses borders, and obviously we are not gonna do 300 kilometers today, but it's very nice to get out of the van and just explore a little bit. But I'm not sure if you've been listening to me. I no. doubt it, so go on. We're thinking about doing a little bit more of the Roman road if we can find it, just after we cross over into Spain, but walk back into Portugal. rock climbing. Bit uh, hairy at times, isn't it? But uh, good fun. So we've just come up from down there. Quite a steep but exhilarating walk. And hopefully the van is only a short walk in that direction along a flat road, so 
hopefully we say it could be bloody anywhere. This has exceeded my expectations and I can't wait to spend three days here. With me? You've got a big fly on your head. <laughs> Where? God, that. Massive fly on your massive forehead. <laughs> okay, so we got back to the van, had a chocolate and coffee, and we've done some discussing. Basically, as we said, we're gonna be in this area for a couple more days. However, we're still relying on Park for Night to find our spots to stay. However, there are a lot more in this area that say they've been moved on specifically. Even in low season, GNR are driving around and will shift you about nine o'clock it seems. And we've got 100% record thus far, so we don't want to destroy that. You shouldn't really be wild camping in any green splodges on the map. So, that being said, and looking at the state of your hair, we're gonna to go to a campsite and have a shower. We also wanted to have a slightly belated Valentine's meal in the town, so this, could work out perfectly if the campsite's open we can park up the van have a shower walk into town have some food and not worry about um, getting back to the van later or finding anywhere else to park that is if this campsite is open and we don't want to go for a meal in public with hair like yours <laughs> Suki's talking this is all right there <laughs> <laughs> could be worse I'm going for the Beatles chic I was gonna say that Come on, <laughs> come on driver! <laughs> The route to the campsite took us up a mountain pass, deep into the national park. We wound our way up in between the rugged granite mountains and past enormous boulders. It was an unbelievable sight in the setting sun. It was hard to believe that we were still in Portugal. We arrived at Parque Campismo Videiro in Jerez, nestled in a wooded valley. So we've arrived at the campsite and at first I thought it was closed because there's no one here at the moment, but fortunately uh, it's open. Woohoo! So we spent about 17 euros for one night and toilet, showers, electric and all that kind of stuff. Yeah and it's a really nice location. I'm sure you can hear there's a fair waterfall behind us and we'll show you more of this later but as of right now we're gonna rush to have a shower because it's quite late and we want to get nice and clean and then we're walking into town which is about a half an hour walk. Fortunately they eat later here so it might not be so much of an issue but we've got to be quick. So we're fresh out of the showers. This is just wet hair and not grease like earlier. The showers were good, but I found that you needed to get just the right amount of pressure to uh, achieve the hotness that was required. But I'm feeling good. So we're just getting ready rapidly. I'm taking these clothes off as well. Don't worry about that. And we are gonna then walk into town and find somewhere to eat. We tried to reserve a table. <laughs> but that that epically a, failed. There was a big uh, uh, barrier. Language barrier. language barrier. We did have this to hand, but that only got us so far. And they actually hung up on us, so we'll see what happens when we go there later. And we're going to have, like I said, a belated Valentine sort of celebratory meal because we haven't been out in a long, long time. And that'll be that. We might take the camera, get some basic pictures of the food, etc. But the general romance, we won't be filming. <laughs> really <laughs> creepy and we'll get footage of the campsite which is rather lovely yeah tomorrow
Yeah. And my shower is amazing, just in case you wanted to know. Yeah, she nailed it. But no, it was good. Um, hopefully, you can sleep well tonight. The, there's like a constant sound of that water flowing past, which is quite nice actually. Um, I think in the in the autumn, this place will be really pretty with all the leaves. Have you mm. seen? Um, we'll show you about tomorrow. No one else here, which is nice. So yeah, that is it. Let's go have food. Join us next time as we continue to explore the beautiful Pinedad Jerez National Park, our new favourite place. <laughs>